What's a knockout like you doing in a computer-generated gin joint like this? Five, six, seven, eight. Spitting fire on the mic, wacker in the place. From the USS Titan, bringing that space. Freaks on the scene with that beard so bold. Star Trek discovery, watch it unfold. Progenital technology making waves in time Wrecker up in the mix, ready to climb Commander of the ship with his wife Troy They're a dynamic duo that's hard to destroy Fire at will, don't mess with the beard Wrecker's in town, he's the one they all fear From the stars to the mic, he's taking control Grind in the galaxy, Wrecker's on a roll Welcome friends with Frakes directing Discovery this week, will we finally see a Riker cameo before the series ends? Now, before we go any further, yes, I'm very aware that most of you don't think this will happen, and frankly, that Frakes himself has said he won't be appearing in the show. But if anyone here actually believes all the things that the actors say, please go ahead and send me some money. Please? Anyway, assuming we were being misled or that plans just changed when the finality of the series was realized, I'm going to go ahead and present five possible ways that we could get a little Riker in our disco. And I'm only going to be presenting Riker options, not Frakes popping in as some other character. My first choice is probably the least likely to happen in any sort of realistic manner. However, if the series finale of Curb Your Enthusiasm has taught us one thing, it's why the heck not double down on your most controversial decisions? With that in mind, could we see Riker puttering about in a holodeck program again? And could it be a double freakout, revealing that the holodeck program of the holodeck program was only a holodeck program to begin with? Uh... Kind of lost track of what I was saying there. Um, oh, yeah, so they bring Riker into the story using, I don't know, the new hologram tech Culber mentioned a few episodes back. By doing so, this would allow a more interactive Riker program to provide more insight about his time, the one in which the original episode The Chase took place. I'll even toss in a slight alternative to this and say that it isn't necessarily related to the progenitor chase, but uh, maybe they'll have a Riker hologram cameo as a professor at the Academy. At this point, I'm definitely thinking that Academy is going to go all out and try to bring in as many legacy Trek actors as they can to be guest lecturers as a hologram of some sort, so why not get that started right now? Next up, I thought it might be fun to try and take an answer directly from ChatGPT. So I did, and I quote, Genetic memory or ancestral connection, colon. A storyline could explore genetic memory or a distant relative of Riker serving on Discovery. This relative might uncover personal logs or genetic memories of Riker that provide insight or a connection to events impacting the Discovery crew. At first, I didn't really care for this idea whatsoever, but then it started to make a slight bit of sense to me. None of the OG Discovery crew could fit this as they jumped from a time before him, but then I remembered they've gone completely out of their way this season to include several new members of the Discovery crew this season, so one of those could easily fit the bill. And I could also see the progenitor technology, or some sort of guardian thereabouts, unlocking the entire genetic memory and lineage of all the beings who encounter it as some sort of way to show them the full impact of their whole original plan to see life throughout the galaxy. Since most of these are heavy and tied into the overall story, how about something just a little bit more fun to break it all up? Maybe, just maybe, we could pop in and uh, visit our friend Kovic in the white void out there and see him watching a recorded concert of, oh, I don't know, Riker just finally boning away on his nemesis Nightbird. Alright, so this next one is a bit simplistic in nature, but fairly easy to accomplish and very, very quick to produce most likely. They could use more archival footage of things that occurred back during TNG's The Chase, maybe supplemented with newly recorded audio for an old TNG-era personal log from the Freaks man himself. That could be something you could just whip out really quick while on set. And now, why don't I throw in a little bonus for y'all? Since it seems like a lot of people out there are speculating that some, if not all, of our crew will end up returning to the past, not that I see this happening at all, let's go ahead and throw a little oopsie in there and say, oh, they missed the mark a little bit and they show up in the post-Nemesis era to be encountered and scooped up by Riker, flying by on the Titan. Now, here we are, finally up to the one that I personally think I've talked myself into feeling is the most appropriate and the least shoehorned. 
So far this season, we've learned that a small collection of scientists had been tasked with researching the progenitor tech, and they took it upon themselves to hide that information for the betterment of the galaxy. Until the time is right, of course. It's mentioned that they did everything they could to remove their names and quest from every database and file around. This seems like it would require a pretty hefty amount of inside help, right? Well, I couldn't imagine that Section 31 would be their first choice, let alone their 47th heh, Star Trek joke. Now, it might require a little bit of smudging of the history we were given, but what if this help came in the form of Captain William T. Freakin' Riker? His connection to the original episode The Chase, and his reputation as a do-the-right-thing kind of guy, especially coming out of the results of the episode The Pegasus, this could really lead him to be the perfect choice to be the secret Starfleet member of this team. Granted, it was mentioned that the decision to hide this technology came in the midst of a raging Dominion War, and sure, Will was still first officering the Enterprise at this point, but it doesn't take too much effort to slide the scale just a little bit. Say, the decision was made during the war, but the final relocation of the clues and the cover-up didn't come around until uh, Will was safely aboard the Titan, now in a position to transport and finalize the plan. I'm not saying that we actually see any of this footage, I'm suggesting that he left some sort of pre-recorded message at the site of the final location of the technology, one with all the juicy backstory and dire warnings that you can shove into an episode like this. This could be audio, visual, holographic, whatever. I think this is the least obtrusive choice with the most beneficial payoff to keep Frake's decade-long streak alive for another day. But what do you think? Will we be seeing Riker, or just Frakes as someone else, before the end of Disco's run? Do you think we should? Whatever you think, leave it all down below, and until next time... I should have done it a long time ago. So I guess we're through here. I guess we are. Computer and program.